procurement is one of the touch points uh, for supporting sustainability in that uh, we can make a real difference by specifying what we buy. So the Power of the Purse project was a project to help um, sustainability uh, considerations get embedded into our purchasing decisions so that we worked with uh, people in procurement, contract managers, people who buy things for the university, really just to make sure that the financial, social, environmental and reputational issues of sustainability are really embedded into how they buy products uh, for the university. We decided to call our sustainable procurement project the power of the purse and that's just not just a nice bit of alliteration but actually for us at University of Gloucestershire the power of the purse is incredibly significant because we, although we have a reputation as a sustainability leader, we actually face quite challenging sustainability issues in terms of how we put it into practice. So I think why this project is unique is because of the breadth and the depth of the project, that it works with uh, estates teams, with sustainability teams, with procurement teams, across a broad range of people who are involved in purchasing uh, and paying for goods and services that the university needs to get hold of. And in terms of the depth, we managed to get through to 100% of all the people involved in the uh, purchasing of products and services for the university. So there was some great involvement with the teams, got a lot of really good feedback. We brought that into two really good workshops that actually meant that, again, those skills are embedded and it becomes really business as usual. In terms of the benefits for the project, I think it's been a great way of us embedding better sustainability standards into our contracts. So for example, when we've gone out to get new uh, contractors to do catering within the university, we've been able to really up the pressure and up the, the ante in terms of better sustainability standards. But some of the more kind of tangible benefits have been that we've avoided spending about a million pounds by reusing equipment or repurposing equipment that's been around the university. Uh, and also, I think with that becomes, uh, comes the benefit of carbon savings. So for that million pounds, that's also saved us 500 tonnes of carbon. The products we're talking about are things like IT equipment, about IT peripherals, furniture, all equipment that really can be either reused or retasked. Um, and indeed, you know, within our own team, we've got some furniture that we've used um, or we've bought as second-hand furniture, which means we've avoided carbon emissions and costs and, and given another life to some equipment that would otherwise potentially end up in landfill. One of the things that we really wanted to achieve with our Power of the Purse um, project was that we wanted a really integrated whole systems approach to trying to improve what we're doing in our purchasing operation. So in terms of where this project goes next, I think it's going to be uh, really an ongoing involvement to make sure that we're starting to deliver more and more cost savings, getting more and more sustainability into our procurement decisions so that we're just benefiting from carbon reductions, cost reductions. Uh, and I think in future we'd like to uh, share some of this experience and some of this good practice with other organisations, potentially outside organisations, uh, again so that we just all learn from the tools developed and that it becomes business as usual and something that can just go on delivering more and more uh, advantages, more and more sustainability benefits uh, and that we can actually just make business as usual in the future.